So a lot of us nowadays need to type a lot of math, and the de facto program to do that is of course LaTeX. But however, I think that Microsoft Word is getting more and more powerful, and it's quite an overlooked software, probably due to its original rather primitive settings. But nowadays it's getting more and more powerful, and I want to show some of the features which actually makes typing math in Microsoft Word very convenient. Um, let me first show you a document I have typed in the past over here. Word is very powerful in a lot of aspects, for example, just creating this automatic table of content uh, that it can allow to do. Not only uh, it will automatically update if you update your titles, but you can also click on the links um, going to that specific chapter. As you can see, I have typed a lot of equations over here. Uh, Word is extremely powerful. Not only you can type inline equations, you can type box equations, you can type numbered equations. For example, over here, you can reference these number equations that automatically updates if you reorganize the numbers. Um, you can also create equation environments, or you can color the equations in a very versatile way, as you can see. Uh, you can create exercise box environments, and it's just a very versatile program all in all. So basically, I think a lot of things you can do in LaTeX, you can pretty much do in Microsoft Word. So what makes typing math in Microsoft Word extremely easy? Number one, uh, it's a customized keyboard shortcuts that you can actually design to streamline your workflow, making your hands almost never have to leave the keyboard in order to type all the equations that you need. And secondly, it supports Unicode input, which is very similar to LaTeX, is another form of mathematical um, input language. In fact, around 70% of the language of the syntax is exactly the same as LaTeX, which means if you're familiar with LaTeX, it is very easy to switch over to Unicode typing. Um, if you're not, uh, the other 30%, uh, even though the other 30% are not the same as LaTeX, it is extremely intuitive and very easy to pick up. So to demonstrate a few examples, you can immediately create an equation at the middle, at the center of the page but rather easily. You can create inline equations in a very similar fashion. Or you can create, what we really want is uh, in a real mathematic document, is really numbered equations. So this is a way to create number equations. You can create shortcuts for that. So as you see, if I create more than one equation, the equations automatically update themselves. In fact, um, another feature I want to show you. So as you keep typing like this, each equation will go in here. However, you see that sometimes they're very cramped, especially if you have a lot of equations, just like uh, in this document that I've showed you. If you don't want the equations to be quite cramped together and you want some spacings, you can create another shortcut, easy keyboard shortcut. You see now there are uh, six points of font size spacing between them. You can customize it to any spacing you like. It is extremely, extremely versatile. And sometimes you don't want your equations to be centered because if I type things of, like this over here, for example, if I type A equals B, and then if I have a very long equation like this, the equal signs do not necessarily line up. So if you want the equal signs to line up, what you can actually do is you can cause the equations to left justify. So for example, you can have 1 plus 3 is equals to 2 plus 2, it's equals to 3 plus 1, it's equals to 4. Now the equations would be automatically left justified. Uh, you can tailor these a little bit more if you want. Um, there, You can also use tab or a lot of features that is very intuitive to you. So if you're familiar with Microsoft Word and LaTeX, it's already making this extremely easy to follow. Furthermore, if you want the equation signs to align in the middle, uh, you can also do that. So here is an environment where you can immediately, for example, type in uh, anything uh, that aligns itself like this. Okay. Um, so sometimes uh, we also want to emphasize certain equations, which we want to put it in a uh, put it in a box. So you can create shortcuts like this. So you can immediately have an equation in the box. Uh, if you want, this is a numbered version. If you want a version that is not numbered, you can do that. If you want a version just like the above, and if you want it left aligned or center aligned, you can align that the equal sign. You can do that. Um, so key question is, what if you realign equations? Uh, sorry, if you rearrange equations, do they 
will they automatically update? And of course, it does if you set it up correctly. So let's say this is equation 1, equation 2, equation 3, equation 4. And if I decide to move equation 3 up here, as you see the numbers uh, now flows from 1, 4, 2, 3, 5, they don't really work. But what I need to do is to update my field codes over here. And if I do that, it sort of serves as like refreshing the page. So these uh, equations would automatically align. So let me try to screw up my equation orders completely. So if this actually needs to go here, or maybe these 1 to 4 actually should go over here. And then maybe this box equation that is extremely important should actually be up here. So as you can see now, my flow goes from 1, 8, 2, 12, 6, 7, 18, 9, 3, 4, 5 extremely non-linear. I can control A to select everything and sort of refresh the page. Uh, it's called update all. And as you can see now, every single numbering is now rearranged correctly. So this is exactly the numbering feature that you need. So, but this doesn't help if every time you type an equation, you need to actually go into insert and go to equation and to start selecting every symbol. For example, if you want to do a simple summation equation, you'll need to do a lot of clicks from zero uh, to, uh, from zero to, for example, infinity. You have to click a lot of buttons like this in order to create a professionally or a just expected looking equation like this. That will take a lot of time. So you, what you want is really you don't need to touch the mouse or your trackpad at all so that your hands just stay on the keyboard and you can start typing. So a lot of syntax is very intuitive. For example, to the power of uh, subscripts, superscripts, um, and uh, for example, fractions. Uh, these are extremely intuitive ways. For example, now you can have something more complicated. And as you can already see, uh, let me make, actually make these numbered equations. So you can actually type in very similar uh, looking syntax as LaTeX. Um, but one of the greatest benefit is what you see is what you get, as I like to call it, instant compiling. So as soon as you hit spacebar, the equation will automatically compile. So if you're familiar with LaTeX, a lot of symbols are very similar. As we've seen, superscripts, underscores are uh, basically exactly the same. Um, for example, you can also do a little bit more complicated equations uh, like this. And as you can see, these equations automatically compile and it is a syntax that is very similar to a LaTeX with minor modification. And if I really want to go crazy, uh, I can type something like this. And I can also try another one. Let's try the Dirac Lagrangian. So here we have the Dirac Lagrangian. Um, and if I need, I can also type other tensor equations. Let's try to type Einstein's field equation. Spacing is extremely easy as well. You just put space in things that you want to separate. So this shows some of the capabilities that you can do. I haven't really planned this video through, so this is a very crude example, uh, just a quick demonstration of things we can do. So uh, here is uh, probably a more thought out different examples of how things can be typed out. Uh, you can type box equations like this. For example, you can have an equation that says like this. And uh, if you see that uh, bottom of the box is uh, not showing, it's basically just it's cutting itself off. So you can increase the spacing just a little bit and it will work. Um, however, I forgot to number this equation. So I can actually go here. I can take this and I can cut and paste into the correct environment, which means actually now this is not spaced right. Uh, so I can actually just tune this a little bit over here. 
yeah so that is you can create boxed equations what if you want multi lines like this uh, there's several ways to do it multi lines is actually not as convenient but there's uh, easy workarounds for example you can treat it as a vector so I can type uh, vectors or matrices easily this way so if I want a three column matrix I can type this and here I can have three columns um, if I need a vector I can brackets embed it within uh, brackets uh, this way and as you see it automatically expands as well so you can easily create vectors matrix goes by the same way so if you need a matrix you can create a 2 by 2 matrix uh, simply this way and if you need the matrix to be inside a bracket you can do that or if you need any spacing you can tailor your spacing like this so there are many ways you can go about typing equations the way you do in LaTeX and I would say pretty much everything you can do in LaTeX you can type in Unicode um, so probably if this is useful in the future I can create more detailed videos to actually show how I type each of these what are the syntax, what are the shortcuts, and what are just uh, random tips that I found over just try and error doing uh, all of these documents over here. But I want to clarify by no means I am an expert in this. Basically, I started out just Googling everything I need to do. Um, but hopefully, since a lot of people are not aware of uh, capabilities of Microsoft Word, I hope this will open up the possibility that will make uh, your typing experience in math much more convenient. Finally, I also want to give a great shout out to my friend Milad, who actually first pointed out to me that Microsoft Word is no longer the version that is 15, 20 years ago. And he was the one who told me to look into this and allow me to discover all these wonderful things that one can achieve. You can create brackets like this, you can create uh, daggers, you can also just customize your document uh, with color, with shadings, and you can create all the Lagrange's equations, Lagrangians, typeset things extremely conveniently. So I don't want to go on too long, but hope this gives you some inspiration on how to create some equations in Microsoft Word. Alright, thanks for watching. By the way, since this is the first video, if you like this, and if there's something you would like to see in particular, for example, how to type out vectors or how to type matrices explicitly, how to type out contour integrals or Lagrangians or Greek letters uh, or specific numbering formats, uh, specific uh, style or coloring equation formats. Any suggestions you have um, that you want to see how to type in Microsoft Word, maybe drop down your suggestion in the comments below and maybe I can make a short video about that.